The Cadillac Escalade is a full-size luxury SUV engineered and manufactured by General Motors. It was Cadillac's first major entry into the SUV market. The Escalade was introduced for the 1999 model year in response to competition from the Mercedes-Benz M-Class, Range Rover and Lexus LX as well as Ford's 1998 release of the Lincoln Navigator. The Escalade project went into production only 10 months after it was approved. The Escalade is built in Arlington, Texas. The word Escalade refers to a siege warfare tactic of scaling defensive walls or ramparts with the aid of ladders or siege towers. More generally, it is a French word which is the noun equivalent form of the French verb escalator, which means to climb or scale. The Escalade is currently sold in North America and select international markets, Europe and Asia, where Cadillac has official sales channels. 1. The Escalade ESV Escalade Stretch Vehicle, is sold in North America, Russia, and Middle East but is available by special order only in some international markets. The right-hand drive Escalade and Escalade ESV are available through the third-party conversion specialists without official agreement with Cadillac in Australian, Oceanic, and Japanese markets. On August 8, 2023, GM unveiled the Escalade IQ, an all-electric version of the Escalade, and the third model in Cadillac's EV line, after the Celestic and Lyric. It is expected to go on sale in late 2024 for the 2025 model year, with a starting price of $130,000.23. The introduction of the Lincoln Navigator in the 1998 model year necessitated that General Motors be able to compete in the burgeoning American market for full size luxury type trucks. This generation was only a five-seat SUV. Fearing the growing hegemony of the Lincoln Navigator, the Escalade was rushed through the design process to reach dealers quickly. Essentially little more than a badge-engineered GMC Yukon Denali, the SUV's aesthetics were similar to the Denali and the final vehicle was smaller than the Navigator. The Escalade's underpinnings were borrowed from the Yukon Denali line, with the GMC logos on the center caps replaced with Cadillac's crest. The Escalade also used the same 5.7L Vortec 5700 V8 at 255 horsepower, 190 kilowatts, which was underpowered compared to the Navigator's 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts, and 365 lbft, 495 Nm, 5.4 liter Intec V8. All first-generation Escalades and Denali's featured auto track selectable 4x4. The 1999 to 2000 Escalade achieves 11 mpg US, 21L/100 km city and 15 mpg US, 16L/100 km highway based on US EPA test protocols. 4 5. The first-generation Escalade, as well as its mechanically identical twin, the GMC Yukon Denali, was available only in the short wheelbase four-door wagon configuration with few options. The GMC Yukon Denali was heavily differentiated from standard Yukons with unique front hood, fenders, grille, headlamps, and bumper cover, color-keyed mirrors and door handles, a unique paint-matched roof rack and running boards, and lower paint-matched cladding all around with emblems embossed in. The only exterior differences for the Cadillac Escalade, other than badging, was a slightly different grille treatment and smooth cladding with emblems placed on the sheet metal. The interior design however would differ significantly between the two models. Denali already added unique two-tone seats, genuine Zebrano wood trim on the front window switch panels and unique center console, chromed interior door handles, Yukon Denali embroidery on the door panels, a color-keyed steering wheel, and a unique instrument cluster versus the standard Yukon. Escalade would add additional real wood trim on all four door panels and steering wheel, imitation wood on the instrument panel and Cadillac script on the console veneer, a color-keyed steering column, leather-wrapped column shifter, and unique front and rear seats with perforated leather, a Cadillac crest embroidered on the headrests and a storage compartment in the rear seat armrest. Six. 7. 
Both vehicles included a generous amount of standard equipment not available on other GM full-size SUVs including 16-inch chrome-clad aluminum alloy wheels, a Bose Acoustimus 7-speaker stereo, including subwoofer, an in-dash CD player and console-mounted 6-CD changer, auto-dimming exterior and rear-view mirrors with compass and temperature display, automatic headlamps with daytime running lights, front projector fog lamps, heated front and rear seats, rear seat audio controls, a BCM. Body control module, providing functions such as retained accessory power and interior illumination fade-off, a unique warning chime, a special coating used on the dashboard for a more premium appearance, front and rear Bilstein shock absorbers, and unique engine and transmission tuning for a more refined driving experience. An OnStar in-vehicle telematics and communication system was optional on Denali but standard on the Escalade, with the only other option for both models being a choice between twin rear barn doors or a split tailgate with rear window wiper. A dealer-installed car phone was also available with factory provisions in the center console, 6, 7. Colors available on the Escalade were silver sand metallic, sable black. Aspen White and Bordeaux Red Metallic. All Escalades came with a neutral shale interior. Six, Yukon Denali colors shared with the Escalade were named Black Onyx and Dark Toreador Red Metallic, and Denali exclusive were Silver Mist Metallic, Spruce Green Metallic, Meadow Green Metallic, and Gold Metallic. Denali featured a two tone interior available in Canyon Tan or Stone Gray. Seven. While base MSRP of the 2000 GMC Yukon Denali increased to $43,535, up $460 from $43,075 in 1999, the Cadillac Escalade retained a base MSRP of $46,225 in both 1999 and 2000. General Motors retains the first Cadillac Escalade produced at Arlington Assembly in 1998, a 1999 Aspen White model, in its heritage collection, VIN hashtag 4000018. Unlike its Chevrolet and GMC siblings, which launched for the 2000 model year, Cadillac delayed the Escalade switch to the GMT 820 chassis until February 2001 as a 2002 model, the last of the three General Motors full-size truck and SUV brands to switch to the new chassis. Cadillac unveiled the 2002 model year Escalade in August 2000 at Pebble Beach, while continuing to sell the 2000 model year trucks. Rear-wheel drive was standard, as was a 5.3 LV8. All-wheel drive was standard on the ESV and EXT and was optional on the short wheelbase Escalade. The special high-output Vortex 6.0 L V8 engine was the sole engine choice on all-wheel drive models whether it was the short wheelbase, ESV, or EXT until mid-year 2005 when the 5.3 L was dropped altogether. Mid-year 2005, all rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive Escalades came with the high-output 6.0 L Vortex V8. All models, except for the EXT, offered seating up to eight people. The Stabilitrack electronic stability control system was upgraded to a four-wheel version, high-intensity discharge, HID, low-beam headlights, power-adjustable pedals and signal outside mirrors were added as a standard feature in 2003, along with a Bulgari-branded clock, 10, for 2004, XM satellite radio, second-row bucket seats and a tire pressure monitoring system were made standard on all Escalades except the EXT. Also in 2004, the Platinum Edition Escalade ESV was introduced at a base price of $71,025, it featured the luxury utility segment's first factory installed 20-inch chrome wheels, a slightly lowered suspension, heated and cooled seats, front and back, heated and cooled cup holders, moon roof, second and third row monitors an interior that included an ebony and shale dashboard, shale leather upholstery and pleated door panel bolsters, a chrome grille, and a standard 6.0-liter V8 producing 345 HP, 257 kilowatts.
The OnStar system was upgraded for the 2005 model year and had become a digital system instead of the analog system that had been in use. In 2003, a year after their introduction, the GMT-800 based Cadillac Escalade and Escalade EXT received an interior facelift, while the exterior design was left mostly unchanged. The audio system was upgraded to offer two different radio options, an AM-FM radio with cassette and single-disc CD players, or an AM-FM radio with a single-disc CD player and a touchscreen GPS navigation system, Radio Data System, RDS, was also included with both radios. Both radio options included a separate six-disc, in-dash CD changer unit mounted in the lower portion of the instrument panel and controlled via the radio, the CD changer still featured numbered buttons for disc selection, as well as load and eject buttons. The Driver Information Center, DIC, was moved from a separate unit in the instrument panel to the odometer display screen in the instrument cluster, where the gauges were also revised with the larger odometer display screen. XM satellite radio became available, and the OnStar telematic system controls were relocated from the instrument panel to the electrochromic inside rearview mirror, ISRV. A rear seat DVD entertainment system, which included two pairs of wireless headphones, and was produced by Panasonic, was also a new option for the 2003 model year. The instrument panel and steering wheel both featured updated designs, the steering wheel now also featured remote audio system, OnStar, and speed, cruise control, buttons on the front of the wheel. The electrochromic inside rearview mirror, ASRV, now integrated the OnStar system controls in addition to the exterior, outside, temperature display and integrated directional compass. The front and second and third row seat designs were updated, and the Zebrano interior trim was replaced with Bullwood. The Escalade ESV, extended length model, debuted for the 2003 model year. Finally, the warning chimes now played through the front driver's door speaker, as opposed to a separately mounted chime module on 2002 models.